What's up, guys? We are back with, uh, I don't know if I said the right terminology, sealed draft, is that correct? You MTG people will probably know better, but we're opening sealed product, we're making a deck out of it, and we're dueling with it. Whatever that is called, that's what we're doing. But before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three retro pack pulls right there. All you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know, first of all, who had the better pulls in the video, secondly, who made the better deck, and third, who do you think is gonna win? All right, let's get right to it because this is gonna be a long video. There's gonna be my opening, Rhyme Styles opening, and then of course we're gonna have a best of three duel as well, which honestly, I don't know how long that's gonna go with how weird the, this product is when it comes to like actual like balanced Yu-Gi-Oh. We're doing an unlimited format where no matter what you pull, you can use it up to three. So if we pull like a band card, you can use three of them. So it's gonna be a complete, like completely nuts. But also th the thing is there's like no trap cards. So it's gonna be very weird. So it's gonna be an interesting way to look at the opening because we're going to get super excited if we get something playable so let's start off right off the bat we've got 24 packs here six mini boxes that's what he opened as well let's see if we can get some good cards curse of dragon i'm going to try to filter them out because i'm going to do a deck profile with the cards at the end magic jammer i'm actually probably going to play jurai gumo same thing trap hole i only got one of those in my last opening that's really good upstart this is a great pack rising air current could matter i'll put that in the maybe Manga Rai, you ain't, I mean, we could play tunes. That might happen. That'll be in the maybes. Tune Summon Skull, we could play tunes. Oh man, Axe is definitely going to get played. Okay, that was a really good pack. I mean, Curse of Dragon was the worst card, and it's probably not playable because there's a lot of bigger monsters in here. But okay, we are off to a great start. By the way, I just woke up. So if I sound a little bit like I'm like, why do you sound sick? People always think I'm sick when I wake up, but it's just like, you know, waking up with allergies and stuff. Okay, Giant Soldier probably getting played pretty good. Thunder Dragon, not that great in this. It does thin the deck, but like, I don't know, no light and dark, so I probably won't play it. Uh, Thousand Dragon, absolutely not. Nibble Mamanga, maybe, because it does summon two more monsters. I'll put that as a maybe. Sonic Bird, that's only if we hit Relinquish, which we probably won't, because we had great luck last time to hit it. Maybe that, depends on what we get. Giant Germ, Monster Reborn, baby! Okay, we're definitely playing this one. Let's just say that. Uh, Yeah, Monster Reborn. Why am I even sleeping it? The thing is... When we profile it, you know, I'll sleep it until then. I'll sleep it. I, this is really hard for me. It's really hard for me not to sleep cards. Okay. Honestly, we're pulling insane right now. <laughs> we're pulling really good. Okay. One, two, three, four from the back. We have Hey Name. That's pretty good as well. Mahavilo Axe and a spare combo. Okay. We're looking good. Flame Swordsman, no. Yes, Man Eater Bug. Gaia Power, maybe. Sonic Bird, no. Giant Rat. I didn't get any of these last time. That's really good. Dude, we could definitely play tunes if we get the right tune card. I don't think I'm going to play any of the Sangha or anything like that. It's a two tribute. It's really hard to get out. We've kind of got some options here. I mean, as, you see, as you're seeing, there's no trap cards. We pulled two at the very beginning, one of them being Magic Jammer. So it's like not really a trap, like Battle Trap at least. Harpy Lady, let's see if we can pull more trap cards. Okay, Juragumo is good. Man Eater is good. Manga Rai, you ran. Dude, we're, that's a good pack right there. Flying Kamikiri, that's a wind. Uh, searcher, we have Hughes and Rue, and a Swords. Yes, that is absolutely being played. Oh my gosh, what a great mini box. I feel like we pulled insane. I definitely want to, I really hope our Solemn Judgment luck returns from last time. We definitely need at least one of those. Three would be insane. So I've been challenged by Ruxin to open a bunch of these, and sorry, it just, something doesn't feel right about this background. Something is just missing. Let me, uh, let me update real fast. Let's go ahead and put this right here. Try this again. So I've been challenged. You know, something just still doesn't feel right. Let me just, I'm just gonna make one more quick, you know, uh, <clears throat> change in the background. There we go. Beautiful. All right, let's try this again. I've been challenged by Ruxton. We have to open a bunch of these. This is my first time opening retro packs. And then we're going to duel in Master Duel. And I gotta make sure to pull as much back or removal as possible because I know Ruxton is going to play dirty here in a second. And he's going to draft Gravity Bind. I don't know where Gravity Bind is in the set. Uh, well, yes, I do. Because this is from Feral Servant. But uh, we're going to... Let me get all these out first. We got to get as much back removal as possible. Because I am not getting Gravity Bound again. Like last time. You guys remember what happened. Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to open up all these packs. Full booster box worth. And then we're going to duel. All right. Retro Pack 1. I feel like when Retro Pack 2, when me and Ruxin were opening it, we were solely responsible for driving up the price a couple years ago. Because I remember Retro Pack 1 and 2... No one's really buying those, especially Retro Pack 2, which were pretty cheap at the time. Cheap in air quotes. And then the price just exploded, and then there was no left on Amazon because we just kept buying them left and right. All right, we're gonna. I'm just gonna go through all the all the pulls first, uh, and then I'm gonna try to ooh relieve monster secret rare at the first at the first pack. Uh, I'm gonna go through all this first, 
I'm gonna do the opening and then I'm gonna actually show you the deck that I'm gonna uh, put together. But yeah, what are my thoughts on them reprinting re uh, Retro Pack? Well, for starters, it's not technically a reprint. We actually never got this uh, out in the uh, West. Monster Reborn is great. Just, it's a super rare, but it's a fantastic card. We actually never got this out here. I said in the West, uh, technically that's Europe as well. But in Europe, this was released as a means to catch up the world to Yu-Gi-Oh at the time. That's why it was so rare. It was like a Europe only release. By the way, I love this OG foil. Not, not the foil, but the, the stock that they're using on the cards. Just so nice. Blue Eyes. That's the most humble. Bro! That's the craziest call of 2024! No one's gonna believe this! Editor, rewind this back slowly so you can see me open this pack from start to finish. I've been challenged by Ruxton. We have to open a bunch of these. This is my first time opening retro packs. That's insane, brother. That's insane. Wow. I, I, I'm kind of flabbergasted. I, I told you, I do this every single time I open it, but the one time I'm right and call it, it's a clip. It's a great clip. RP Lady Sisters. Okay, box two. This is definitely gonna be a pretty long video because like, I'm guessing the opening part will be like 30 minutes. Uh, we could have done, you know, a simulator or something, but I figured it'd be cool to actually open this product because people love watching opening this product. And if you don't necessarily care about the duels, you can just watch the opening and there's still like 30 minutes of that or whatever it's going to be. Uh, I think the duels are going to be super funny, though, because like, I mean, if I get another Monster Reborn, I can play three Monster Reborn. Like, it's going to be insane. So hopefully I do get another Monster Reborn. I just I don't really have necessarily anything worth reborning yet, though. So hopefully we can turn that around. That looks like a vanilla. Could that be a summon skull back there, maybe? Magic Jammer, we're definitely throwing that to the side. You're, oh yes, I love that pack. I love that pack, that's good. We have like a play set of the tunes already. Umiruka, I don't know if water's gonna happen. It is Summon Skull. Okay, that could be playable. It's just a one tribute 2500. We'll take that, definitely better than Curse of Dragon. Two Trap Bulls is nice though. Two Trap Bulls is really, really nice. So I'm hoping that we could get a third because last time I only got one. And when there's not really anything that's to stop like monsters removal at all, that's pretty good. Giant Soldier's not bad. I'll, I'll consider that. He's a 2k. We have a uh, Nimble Manga. You need three of those. Giant True Nade. Not that there's any back row, so it's not as good. Uh, send you if I get relinquished. And if we somehow pull Exodia, I'm playing it. Just throwing that out there. So I am going to put that to... I'm going to put Exodia out here. I mean, we're not going to pull it because there's not enough packs, but I hope we pull it. I hope we pull it. I'm thinking, man, like, what if I just cheated and just included Exodia? I feel like, you know, no, no, that's not in the spirit of the of the duel. Okay, okay, we're not going to do that. Okay, it, it would be cool, though. We have Maneater. We have Mega Ryuran. Another giant True Nade. Okay, we definitely have four Mega Ryuran. Mystic Tomato, that's the first one. Oh, my gosh. Please, please. This would be the perfect video to complete it. The perfect video. Please let it happen. That's two pieces. We need the arms and we need the head. Come on. We almost did it in that other video. That would be so sick. Gazelle, we have Jirai Guma. That's a play set, I think. Manier, that's a play set. Nemo Mong, that's a play set. Giant Rat, that's two. Mold Destruction, UFO Turtle, we unpulled. Okay, completely worthless, unfortunately. Very cool card, but I mean, there's no way. I don't, is Polly even in this set? I don't know that it is. So I think what they do like in sets like that is like you just don't you just allow yourself to include Polly. Isn't that how people do like uh, sealed things for uh, for Yu-Gi-Oh if, if you have a, a fusion monster? Because like very few sets have Polly, right? This set could have it. I'm not sure if it does or not. But yeah, how do I feel about the releases? I think it's dope because we never actually got this. And technically it doesn't take away from the original release because this is unlimited. If you're a collector, you still got the first edition versions of the cards. Personally, I, I thought Retro Pack was always overhyped. I'll be real with you. It was always overhyped. What was cool about Retro Pack 2 is they had the secret rare version of... Wow. Relinquished. They had a secret rare version of um, the uh, uh, the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon, which honestly wasn't that hype of a card to begin with. But for some reason, with how hard it was to pull secret rares back in the day, uh, it was like super expensive and sought after. I don't know why. But we wanted it. And shout out to Ruxin for actually pulling that. That's my bull right there. Penguin Soldier is a thousand percent going to go into this deck. Um, by the way, I'm getting a lot of goat cards here. I'm going to use a lot of these, actually. Anyway, so the goal in today's video, as I mentioned, we're going to open up these packs together. Uh, you're going to see Ruxin's part. You're going to see my part. And then we're going to build uh, the deck afterwards. The rares over here. And then we're going to duel and master duel. But unfortunately, what Ruxin doesn't understand is I am the ultimate goat warrior. Unless you flood me out. Okay, so I'm about to fly out and just jump rocks in. But uh, yeah, uh, let's see what happens here. Shiny! Catapult Turtle. 
Probably not gonna play that card. Um, uh, I mean, I guess you can get a cheap burn win. Next four packs. Here we go. Can we pull Exodia? That's really my goal here now. Okay, Hain Hain, Mahavila. We got to be at a play set of those. There's a trap hole play set. Let's go. Two more. Our first one. Tunes are now an option. It's going to be hard not to play those. Giant Rat, Upstart, Nibble Momonga, and Catapult Turtle. Okay, another card we're probably not going to play. We don't have the uh, Scientist in here, so he's not that useful. Okay, three packs here. Can we keep... I mean, honestly, we're pulling really well, I think. I think we're pulling really, really well. What are the... Oh, mind you, Jammer. What are the high-end cards? Seven tools would be kind of nice, too, but there's just not enough... I don't know. There's not enough uh, trap cards for it to matter. Tune Summon Skull. Toon World number two, Harvey Lady Sisters. We could play Harvey Lady Sisters, but I mean, it always just amazed me how bad the attack was. It's literally just a vanilla. It doesn't even have an effect, really. 1950 attack, and it's like, it's just a pain to get out. It's really terrible. So that one's not going to happen, probably. One, two, three, four. Even when I got an all-winged beast stacked in Wheel Goat the other day, um, it still wasn't even worth playing. We have Cannon Soldier. We have Curse of Dragon. Senju. MST. Okay. UFO Turtle. Shining Angel and Card Destruction. That definitely could be played. That's a pretty good card. Probably put that up there. Okay, last pack of the mini box. We definitely need some rares, like, for different variety, because I feel like we've gotten most of the commons in, like, playset. We could keep her serving. That, that's annoying. We could do that. Cannon Soldier, Tribute 1 Monster, look 500 damage. We could Cannon Soldier if we want to do a little burn. We, uh, I might consider. I might consider that if we need that. Giant True Nade, Umi Ruka. We have MST, Gaia Power... Okay. All right. Another Monster Reborn. I'm in. I'm in. Let's do this. Let's Monster Reborn this sucker. Oh my gosh. We've got two Monster Reborn. This is going to be insane. Yeah. You know what I'm not seeing so far? Back row removal. Where's the Dust Tornadoes? Was Dust Tornado in Retro Pack 1? I'm pretty sure it was, but I might be wrong. Oh, wait. oh Le Legend's a super rare? Really? I mean, I get why, but really? My deck is about to be all magic jammers here in a second to keep up with all like the crazy power spells. You know what? I definitely want to do this in the near future on my, on my channel as well. It just sounds like a little fun concept, you know? It's you're going to essentially be drafting the same way and then you duel. Because as a, as a OG, you know, person that grew up with Yu-Gi-Oh, being able to collect the cards that I grew up with is so hype. Being able to play with it just feels so nostalgic. I love it. I'm here for it. So is Real Lights. Kind of annoying, but uh, hey, man, I am not holding anything back. When I dueled Ruxton last time, I didn't expect this man to choose all the most annoying cards in existence. Stumbling, Gravity Bind, Level Limit, Area B. Like, bro, who hurt you? What happened? How do we get here? What caused us to be in so much pain? Axe of Despair is fantastic. We're definitely playing that. Oh, I'm dropping my cards. But yeah, like, what happened, bro? Okay, so this, I believe this is the first, like, three sets then, right? So it's going to be Magic Ruler... Legend of Blue Eyes and Metal Raiders, right? Am I correct to say that? MST. And we got Exodia, the Forbidden One. I'm more excited about the MST, to be honest. Yo, this is actually kind of an insane opening right now. I'm going to be honest with you. This is kind of nuts. Like, I'm pulling literally all the, the crazy cards. You know, the, you know what's messed up about this? I bought three boxes that I was going to open on my channel. And let's do some openings. And Ruxin's like, do you got any boxes? Let's do this opening. I'll send you the other three packs. And now, the cool pulls are going to go on Ruxin's channel. So, Ruxin, I hope you enjoy this, bro. At least I'm going to beat you in the game in the end. But, yeah, let me go ahead and just kind of, like, figure out another Monster Reborn. I mean, you better believe I'm going to use everything. We're not following any ban rules. It's whatever you pull, you can, you know, you can play. We're going to take it back to the playground days. We just walked out of the store. We had a good grade. Our parents were like, here's a couple packs. Build a deck. We're going to do that. And I'm here for it. Whoop. Blue Eyes Tune. We super jumped. West Toon can go over here, and then these are the last couple. The thing is, our biggest monster right now is Toon Summon Skull and regular Summon Skull. So, I mean, I, that's still a pretty good reborn. It's also a special summons, and there's no bottomless trap hole. There's just trap hole. So, it plays around that. I don't think Torrential's in here. You would be able to Solemn Judgment, I guess, if we get a Solemn Judgment. I'm going to be sad if we don't get a Solemn Judgment. It's a super, so definitely not guaranteed. Right, Geki's in here as an ultra. We, we've hardly got any ultras or secrets. Like, come on. Mahavilo, that's probably going to be in our deck. Maneater, Senju, Mega Ryu Ran, Giant True Nade. Gate Guardian. Of all ultras, the Gate Guardian. That's the worst pull. This thing sucks. Oh, man. The one time I'm disappointed with the Gate Guardian is when you're trying to duel. 
It's terrible. Now I feel like like you know when um uh, like a like a real Yu-Gi-Oh player like watches me and they're like, why do you like that card so much? That card sucks. Now I feel like them. I feel like them. I understand where they're coming from. I can relate. That card does suck, Jiragumo. Come on. Give us something better. Misty Tomato, we might need one of those. Giant rat. Maybe I think we're pretty close. Messenger of peace. <laughs> you know we're rocking this card, baby. Oh, yeah, we're messenger of peace, baby. Have fun, rhyme style. Oh, I wish this gravity bind was in this set. Oh, my goodness, it would be so funny. The thing is, there's a ton of back row removal, so he better play it, okay? He better play it. And the only, <laughs> normally I wouldn't play it, but because it's rhyme style, I, it, it almost makes me want to play a floodgate a little bit more. <laughs> He's going to be so mad when he hears this. Okay, we have UFO turtle. We have flying Kamakiri number one. Upstart again. Stop with the unplayable foils. That's two Gaia and a, and a freaking Gate Guardian. Oh, we are getting roasted. We did get two Monster Reborn, but that's three terrible ones. I'm not happy about this. Let's just, let me just throw that out there. Not happy about this. I almost wish we, the, the pull rates were decreased so we could get more uh, seven tools. So we could get more Black Illusion. So we could get more rares. That's what I'm trying to say because the rares have like good cards in them. Kazujin, I, I take it back. I take it back. I actually hit end recording when I was trying to fix my stack over here. So that's that's neat. There's a small gap, but at least I was not opening any packs in between that. Plots was me find out that actually wasn't even um showing. Wait, I guess it's, that's just my face cam anyways. Solemn Judgment is fantastic, actually. Solemn Judgment is a great Yu-Gi-Oh card. No, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not really seeing that much like super crazy stuff to play here. I mean, we're seeing like the standard stuff. Sorry, I actually... I moved my camera a little bit too much from my background. Y'all see the, the Magias in the background. Fire! Take the Axe of Despair. A couple comments. But uh, hopefully we have enough to actually build something viable. I mean, I see all the searches like, you know, like uh, Giant Rat and um, Flying Kamakira, for example. I got a lot of Giant Trunades. Penguin Soldier, he's going to be clutch. There's be a lot of flip effect monsters here at the end of the day, too. Hain Hain into Man Eater Bug. And basically just stock up to get my blue eyes out on the field. It's gonna be that's gonna be a fire load duel. Mystic Tomato is great. And Graceful Charity is a beautiful card. Let me see let me see more of those. Let me see more of those. Let me get a couple of pot of greets too while we're at it. I wanna be able to draw a billion cards. I'm gonna great I wanna graceful into graceful into graceful. Switch in it's not what we really want to see here. That's fine. Here. Give me one solemn judgment, I'll be happy. One solemn judgment. I will be happy with a singular solemn judgment. One, two, three, four. Twin added, no thanks. Uh, Cannon Soldier. Curse of Dragon. Toon World. I think that's three. I think we at least have three. MST. UFO Turtle. Yes! Tell me about a good card right there. Raigeki. Okay. It's banned in GOAT, but we're not playing GOAT. We're playing unlimited retro pack format. Let's freaking go. That's a good pull. Now we're talking, baby. Now we're talking. I guess the only restriction is if it's not in Master Duel, we can't play it because we're going to be playing on Master Duel. So, uh, so yeah, some, I don't know if anything we've pulled, the Gravekeeper Servant will be. Harpy Lady, Shining Angel, Giant True Nade, Umi Ruka, Mystical Space Typhoon, Kaiba Man Secret. All right, we just need Blue Eyes now. We just need Blue Eyes. It's a secret rare. <laughs> it's pretty terrible, but it, if, it, if we had Blue Eyes, it could be okay. First time I've pulled Kaiba Man since I pulled it in the original Retro Pack, though, so... It was like 500 bucks at that point in the original one. This one's definitely not going to be that much. All right, Elegant Ego Tinsel. We got to beat Rhyme Style. We can't let him defeat us again. Giant Germ. We have Black Illusion. Toon Mermaid. You got power. Oh, yes! Turning it around. Double Raigeki. Double Monster Reborn. Oh, baby. Rhyme Style is going to be so happy when he sees this. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so great. The Dino going down. The, dude, we're going to be zapping him. We're going to be putting Messenger of Peace out there. This is going to be great. Oh my goodness. What pulls? I mean, you can't ask for more than that. UFO Turtle, Black Illusion Ritual. <laughs> I can't ask for more than that. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. 60% of the way there, everybody. One more mini box. Fortunately, I wish I knew which packs the Blue Eyes came from. Did I come up from the packs that uh, Ruxin sent? Or, wow, or was it the ones that I bought? I, I'm pretty sure if I look back, I can see where they came from, where I stacked them, but we have to the editor to figure that out, which stack they came from, whatever. All right, the last two packs consist of Dark Magician. Yo, we got the full OG package here. 
one MST. Now, it shouldn't be Gravity Bind. I believe this is only the first three sets. That's the whole point of Retro Pack 1. We're going to end it with... Rum Rolls! Hey, we got... We're about to cook with this deck. We're, we're definitely cooking with this deck. All right, let's see. Four packs. We're almost to the part where we are not opening packs anymore. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the pack opening, at least if you don't care about the duel. Hopefully you do, because the duel is going to be hilarious. I have two Raigeki. I have two Monster Reborn. Mask of Darkness. No trap card, so it doesn't matter. Arm Ninja. Destroy a spell trap. We got enough removal. There is a Poly in this set. Rising Air Current. Giant Germ. Toon Mermaid. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. We got scammed. I somehow this is Rob Style's fault. We got scammed. Konami! All the eight cards? Where's my rare? There should have been an Exodia piece in there. You know what that means? I get to pick whatever rare I want. I think that's what that means, right? That means like I, I get to pick the rare. I hope the rest of this. Oh no. That feels thin. Oh no. Tell me they're not all like this. Okay, there's nine. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. That would have been scary. All right, so pack, we got screwed on a pack. Not surprising. Definitely Rhyme's fault. We have Rising Air Current, Manga Rai, Ran, Toon Subskull. That's not making it better. This is the worst mini box ever. We have Sang out. We have no rare. Not good. Not a great start. Two packs left. We got to go two for two now to get Exodia. I, I think they had, I had the Exodia head in it. Baby Dragon, have we pulled that yet? Nimble Bull Manga. Okay, Sonic Bird. Shining Angel, Giant Germ. Ah, oh, that makes up for it. <laughs> Three monster reborn. Oh, baby. We are going to be annoying the crap out of him. All right. One more pack. We have three monster reborns. Let's just get a third Raigeki. Right now, please give us solemn judgment. All I ask is for solemn judgment. No solemn judgment is going to kind of suck. That's the best, best trap card in here. Harpy Lady, last pack magic before we uh, throw together our deck. This is going to be crazy episode. Toon Mermaid. Okay, I can work with that. I can work with that. That's not a horrible rare. Okay, let's get to putting this deck together. Then we're going to go head to head with Rhyme with wild decks. This is going to be super fun. All right, so this is the deck profile. So we got Lajin because 1800 attack beat stick. A graceful charity. Do I even have to say anything? Double Solemn Judgment. I usually play two anyways. If he gets hairy, I got Swords of Real Light. Double Monster Reborn, which I feel like is going to be kind of broken in this format. Then we got our two uh, win conditions, Dark Magician and Blue Eyes White Dragon. To be annoying, I got Triple Penguin Soldier. The card actually is really obnoxious in this format. I feel like it might be the best card in the game. And then for the rest of the deck, I got Triple Giant Germ. I'm basically going Triple Giant Germ and Triple Nimble Momonga just so I can summon stuff from the deck and kind of help thin it out. And also if I get bodies out, that can use that to tribute into um, Dark Magician of Blue Eyes. I got double Maha Vialo because I'm also running Axe of Despair in here. So this with Axe of Despair or two is insane. Jiragumo, just to kind of wall up. Um, I give up half my life points, but I feel like I don't have to attack. I, just, I can just kind of leave it on the field. We have uh, triple Giant Soldier Stone for defense. I have triple Trap Hole to be obnoxious. I have two Magic Jammers in case I really need to stop something like, let's say, Raigeki or Monster Reborn or Pot of Greed and stuff like that. Also, I have Solemn Judgment for that as well. Triple Man Eater Bug, if he gets a strong monster in the field, it doesn't matter. Triple Upstart Goblin, so I can draw into my cards. Oh, there's, there's the other Mahavilo. Uh, and of course, the two Axis Spares, and the one single MSC, which has to get me. All right, I have put together a jumble of a deck. So here we go, let's just go through it. Let's start with the monsters. I'll just put those over there. So we have Summon Skull, this is our tribute monster. This is all we have. I'll kind of show you a few cards that I decided to cut at the end, but we have Summon Skull. Tribute monster. We have a play set of Jirai Gumo because he's just the biggest monster. 2200. We have Hain Hain. Let's swap that around so it's a little bit easier to see. Two Hain Hain because it actually gets monsters off the field, which is actually really tough in this format. So two of those. We're playing three Maha Vilo because this card is just insane with equip cards. And there's not so much removal in this. So as long as you don't get Raiyaki or Trap Hold or whatever. Then three number one manga. So we can gain a little life points back. They summon from the deck, which is pretty nice. Two of at the same time. Giant Rat can also summon Nimble Momonga, so you can go Rat, Rat, Nimble Momonga, two more Nimble Momonga, so it's just really annoying to get through. 
We have three man eaters because they remove something, which is just really nice in this format. And then two giant soldier because of the big defense. So as you can kind of see here, not a lot of attacking power in here. I mean, like it's Mahavilo and it's Jiraigumo. And if you can get summon skull out pretty much and the rest is kind of like removal or just stalling to get to the cards we want. The spells and traps, we actually got pretty, pretty good spells and traps. So what we got, we got three, or no, sorry, two Raigeki. That's going to be really crazy. I played two Raigeki in my old school deck when I was uh, playing on the playground. So it actually kind of checks out for me. Swords Revealing Light, really annoying. Three Monster Reborn. That's going to be hilarious with Summon Skull. Card Destruction. I don't know if that's good here, but it seems powerful. So we should play. We have two MST. I mean, for a back row removal, that's all I have. I didn't really do a lot of back row removal because there's not a lot of back row in this. So I was like, why waste so much space on back row removal? If there's no back row. So uh, I did a little bit just in case he has like judgment stuff. Couple more cards. We have Mega Morph to go with Mahavilo, Axe of Despair, and two Black Pendants. So that kind of, I was going to use like Gaia Power, but then I was like, it doesn't work with some. It also helps Rhyme Styles monsters, I believe, when you do it on Master Duel. So why not just use power up spells for my own stuff? So I decided to do that because it works better with Mahavilo anyway. Messenger of Peace, this is just gonna be funny if we activate this on Rhyme. Trap hole, stopping summons, and then a little bit of counter trap and spell. It's kind of a weird deck because there's not a lot of back row like battle traps or anything like that. It's gonna be like a old school, but without that. So it's just going to be flipping man eater bug and maybe attacking over using Raigeki. So let's see what happens. This should be a fun duel. All right, welcome to whatever this is. It's not any sort of series. We just decided to do this and uh, I think it's going to be a disaster and also really fun opening this set. I feel like you could either pull like if you get the right foils, you get crazy cards. If you get the wrong foils, you get completely unplayable cards. So I don't know what you got. I think you're just scared of the LOB uh, power cards, to be honest, because everything else wasn't really that crazy in like the first three sets. Well, you can get judgment. Judgment's a pretty big one. Um, but is it good in this like format? Because think about it. If I'm going to activate judgment to stop like a normal sum of a vanilla card or pot of greed, I lose half a life points. <laughs> <laughs> normal oh. summon of a vanilla well you could have gotten guy the dragon champion i'd argue it's better than that what am i gonna do with that <laughs> imagine getting guy the dragon champion but but then no poly yeah i was i was opening the set and i'm like i guess like if there's no poly you could just include it but i'm like oh wait and then i pulled the poly later and i'm like oh it is in the set. <laughs> okay. so like, are you going to ready up or are you going to keep running? All right, let, let's get to it. Let's get to it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I see how it is. I'm getting my revenge for Wield Guild, by the way. Okay? What do you mean revenge? You know. You're the one who made me play the Gravity Bard. Hey, you won, though. That's not the point. I won angry. <laughs> I feel good. It's like it's like when you activate Max E and, and if it resolves, you don't feel good about that win because you know you won because of Max E. Okay, so That's I'm fair. In, That's you're fair. going first. You're going first. Wait, why'd you let me go first? You I want didn't. me to go first? No, no, I didn't. I uh, I let uh, I let fate decide who goes first. Oh, you let fate decide. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Respect, respect. Okay, and the reason right. why we do this, we say this in every single video in case people don't remember. You used to go draw by going first up until like 2014. They have that ability in, in this game. It's just not available in duel rooms for some reason. Konami, if you're watching this, you know what to do. You know what to do, Konami. You're, yes. The okay. man Rhyme Style is asking for it. Okay. All right. Get to it. What do you got? Riveting. Riveting. I can't. This is going to be such a weird Dude. match. This is yeah. going to be such a if weird match. If you're bad at the game, but I am just great at the game. Graceful okay. charity. Is that okay with you? You pull graceful? It's just a regular rare. Okay. You know what? <laughs> Magic jammer. And I will pitch. <laughs> I mean, I guess I don't, I don't, I don't disagree. So get out of sure. here. That's like a two for two or something ish. Yeah. Uh, all right. I guess I'm going to set a card and pass. <laughs> Man, this is going to be a weird. This is going to be a weird duel. Okay, here we go. I was debating about adding um, Magic Jammer to my deck. I think I got a couple. I don't remember. Mm, interesting. Okay, let's do this. Get crazy. Ain't ain't. Okay, it's fair. Yeah, send whatever that thing is back. Yeah, I'm okay with let's, that. Let's bring out the goat. Ooh, I know where this is going. I wish it was going somewhere. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's going into you attack mode. You did all mode. this for 2,000 damage? <laughs> hey, 2k damage is going to be big, okay? I mean, I, I agree. I do agree. All right, the question is, you didn't really do anything crazy, so I'm just going to just gonna pass. Uh, you you seem to be low on cards over there in your hand. <gasps> you wow. Yeah, but now you got to deal with my Hain Hain. I'm not worried. I'm just going to set a card and pass. Oh, it's back. Okay, all right. We're about to draw our... our uh, Ace in the hole right here, right now. Was, was, oh yeah, was there no, it is. Was Nobleman in this set? I don't think so. Oh, thank I didn't. God. I didn't get it though. I'll, just, I'll say that if there was one. I want. I want to say no. Nobleman was Feral Servant, I think. Yeah, Feral Servant. The weird part about this is like because of the upped 
foil rates, a lot of the rares are really good. So you kind of want the rares, but you're getting too many foils. And like half the time, it's like Gate Guardian or something. You're like, oh, great. <laughs> great. Uh, fantastic. Oh, man. What am I going to? Okay. What are you setting in this? It's probably like Giant Rat or Tomato or something like that. Only one way to find out, young Rusty. Only one way to find out. Um, the cards you think I played, I did not play. You could Rusty. be playing Maneater Bug as well. That was in the set. Could be. Only one way to find out. Um, let's yeah. Only one way to find out. Let's just go for it. All right. You fell for it. The Momonga. No, you're getting life points. I was set. Yes. Okay. It's a one thousand one hundred defense. Okay. So yeah, let's just let's let you gain your life interesting, points. Unfortunately. Interesting. Interesting. We're gonna let him do its thing. Oh, you only have two. Interesting. No, I, it's in my hand. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, right, I, I was like, dang, maybe you only pull two. A little a little unfortunate, I will say. A little unfortunate. I'm going to set a card. No big deal. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> this helps me out my deck. Ooh, that's a great card, too. Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, we'll just set. We'll just set. We'll just keep it. Uh... <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. 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 What the heck? Uh, all right, all right. Let's get to it. Oh, uh, damn. Double Mahavilo is crazy. I wouldn't I wouldn't do that if I was you. Oh, you better watch out, dude. See, it's about I, to get crazy. I try to oh tell you, and I'm going to ha chew, sneeze my giant germs all over you. <laughs> is this, are you playing a burn deck? What's going on here? No, I'm not. Um, uh, I just needed bodies. Okay. All right. All right. Just making sure. Kind of leaking over there. You're taking some damage. I'm losing this battle right now. This is not going well. Fortunately for me, I can do this. They do. That's a great card. Question is, is do I overcommit? It wouldn't yeah, be me probably, if I didn't overcommit, you know? You probably should, yeah. Monster reborn. Oh no, the super rare. Into the germ, okay. I might severely regret this. Because if that is oh. trap hole, this does hurt. But I gotta go for the <laughs> content, baby. Tribute! Oh, no. The rarest card in the set! No! Oh, the blue eyes! Oh, that's not good. Oh, and that thing is pretty, too. Oh, my gosh. Can you chill with that a little bit? Like I said, I'm going to overcommit. Holy crap. I'm going to super overcommit and just assume that back row is nothing. And if it is, I'm, I got you in the next game. Oh, that's going to be a lot. You got hey, nothing back there? That's not a two-turn clock yet. Uh-oh. I might have screwed up. In case you're wondering, that blue eyes isn't holding these axes. They're both in, in her mouth. <laughs> She's swinging them. Heart of the cards! Guide me! With my There is racket. no shot! You just drew that! You <laughs> pulled up! And you pulled Raigeki! I was just thinking, the scariest card you could have pulled, <laughs> LOB cards, Raigeki is going to ruin my day. Oh, baby. That is how you do it right there. Okay, um, wow. we're getting aggressive. Here we go. Bro said aggressive and just hit me for 2,000. And I just attack you with a 450 monster. Yeah. I would love one of those Axe of Despair you had right there. That would be nice. I think that was also a regular rare. Oh, yeah. That would be nice. Okay. The question is, is what, what's your back roll if you're not using it? <gasps> you might find out eventually. That's so funny, but it's not time yet. I will just set this card pass. This is the golden nice. era of Yu-Gi-Oh! Where it wasn't about doing 20-minute combos and making us yeah, a can play. We just set a card and pass. Back in my day. Now, you could, in theory, attack. But you could also just not. I could, yeah. I could, in theory. I'm going to attack. We're getting aggressive attack. here. Hanan's just chilling on the field. Nice. There nice. he is. Now, I know what you're right. thinking. Why is he going after Hanan? Trust me. I know what I'm doing. I am. I'm scared. I now. am four I, steps ahead of you, Rux. I'm not gonna lie. That scares me a lot that you did that. I am four steps ahead of you, Rux. And there's no no man across out in, in this format, so I don't have to worry about. Wow, what a great draw! I will simply set a card and pass. <laughs> I don't love that. I don't love that. I'm I not love feeling this. This great. is great. This is fantastic. You're setting a lot of cards, which is not making me happy. Well, like I said, I did overcommit into the blue eyes bit, but I had to for the content. All hey, right, hey, hey, Ruxin. Just flip, what? just flip gravity vine, bro. You go for it. Of course I am. Yeah, okay, this is definitely <laughs> like Mystic Tomato or something. Uh, I don't know about that one. Penguin oh, Soldier. Oh, okay, the Penguin uh, Soldier. But for she, for you, you did, uh, you didn't summon yet, yeah. so it didn't I didn't do... summon. I played around it. it wasn't as so I can just yet. do that again. Do again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you're playing a lot of sets. A lot of sets. <laughs> 
That's Turn 15. Card. That's a fantastic card. We're playing old Yu-Gi-Oh, baby. We're playing oh, old Yu-Gi-Oh. What is the back roll? Only one way to find out. There is one way to find out. Okay, so I got that out of the way, which is fine. Trap hole. Okay, okay. I feel okay about hitting that one. My card advantage is low now. Golly. Uh, okay, and now we have, you have Penguin Soldier. That scares me a little bit. Um, but not, not enough to not summon this. Okay, okay. All right, all right. My guy, Maha Vilo. Heal me! Heal me! Oh, yeah, okay. I knew you had that one. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah, was, yeah. that was my hand already. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. O opening with two of those kind of sucks. The whole the whole point of the Nimble Manga and Giant Germ package was to, like, mill out the deck a bit. Yeah, it's to not draw two of them at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. 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 Maha you, got Vilo lot, doing you, thing. you got a lot of advantage right now. A lot oh. of advantage. You got two cards. I set a card to pass, young Ruxin. <laughs> oh, no. Stop drawing good cards. I just drew the card that I manifested in my head, just so you know. Oh. Unless. I don't really like when you manifest cards. Unless that didn't really matter in this situation. All right, let's find uh -oh. out. We're just going for it, okay? I like it, I like no, it, I like we're it. We're going for it. Is it another man eater bug? It's a giant wall, oh, bro. And your that's life points be... are getting really low over there. My life points are getting low. I'm not a huge fan of that. Hey, I'm if you combine one. our life points together, we're back to 8,000. <laughs> exactly. That's gotta be man eater bug, though, which sucks. So, you know what? I feel bad for all the damage they've done to you. I'm gonna I'm give you, I'm gonna shake my, shake, it's not a hand, so you can shake it. Here's a thousand life points. I'm gonna just draw a card, that cool? Thank you, yeah, yeah, I'll take that. I'm down for that. And then, I'm going to simply set a card. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we can do. Ooh. As I, as I open Retro Pack, I figure this is gonna just come down to just Maha, Maha Vilo and like Maneater Bugs. Interesting, okay, so this is what we do. Yeah, we Maneater Bug. Yep, thought so. Let's take out whatever that is. Ew, okay. Oh, the penguin. Okay. That was, that was correct. Now I reveal my second best pull. My second Regeki. Second Regeki? <laughs> you got two Regekis? Oh, and now we summon the rat in attack mode. And just by 50 life points, you kill me in round one? <sighs> Regeki. I had to use my manier first so I didn't pop my own monster. <laughs> oh, that is... That's a play, yeah. Holy crap. Yep, double Raigeki. Unlimited format, baby. Double Raigeki. I, I'm not going to say what I pulled twice, but I got something the equal power level in, in my deck somewhere, which we'll find out probably the next duel. Okay, all right, all right. Well, let's get to it. Uh, you get to... Wait, did I go first? So you get to go first now? I get to go first. You're going to choose... Uh, you're going to yeah, choose first second. if you win. Or first, I mean. Yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, so you choose first. Yep, Okay. Now that you've seen my ace in the hole, let's see what you can do about it. Double Raigeki is scary, but now I know what to look out for when it comes down to uh, stopping that from happening. Dude, Double Raigeki like fits my childhood perfectly because I had two of them in my deck back in the day. So it was, I was like, yes, this is perfect. Oh, you're about to get cooked. All right, we'll you're find out. You're about to get cooked. <laughs> All right. We'll keep it simple. Just set a card. Pass. That's Golly. All. You gotta chill with that. Okay, okay, let's draw something good. It's all right. Double Raigeki is a crazy out. I have to kill you before you draw either one of those, then. Before I zap your whole field. Uh, you should have played Magic Jammer. I had Magic Jammer, I just didn't draw it. Oh, okay, okay. So, all right, thanks for telling me. Um, <laughs> now I gotta worry about your man eater and your penguin soldier. And these germs, Ruxin, these germs! Golly, oh no. Yes. You get a tribute of blue eyes now. Yes. And you pulled blue eyes. What's up with that? I didn't just pull blue eyes. I pulled pretty cracked in this uh, draft, which you haven't seen I, yet at the time of this video. I know. I can't wait to see what it is. Okay. Okay. And now the question is, what do you have back there? What is that? I summon Maha Vilo thoughts. Oh, the thoughts are not good. You're thoughts about to get good. jumped. You're about to get jumped. Oh, this is not you good. You are getting jumped. Oh, this is a lot of damage. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Don't forget, when you destroy these giant germs. Oh, man. I told you I got to make this fast. You, you better have that right get key in your hand. Kind of kind of going off right here. Fortunately for me, I got the lightning bolt in my hand. <laughs> Fair. And you, and you, don't take, you don't take the damage. Don't take either. damage. It plays around. No battle. I like that. Um. Okay. I am only at 4K, though, so I got to be careful. Indeed. I got to be very careful. All right, let's do this. Ah, Vilo, sure. Let's just do some damage. Yep. Maha Vilo is like the best card in this set for, for some, like, one summons. You say uh, that, Ruxin, okay. but there's something even better than Maha Vilo. Don't put out La Jin, okay? La Jin, the mystical genie of the lamp. Crap. 1800. 
Yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Uh, and then we just pass. All right. Mm -hmm. What will you do mm -hmm. about uh, the 1800 attack beat stick on the field, though? How will you out this? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's this is going to be interesting. <laughs> I wish you could see my end right now. <laughs> that could be anything. Oh, but you know what? Boy. I'm going to gamble my life points here in a second with Jirai Gumo. Oh. Ooh, are you sending it back? Are you sending it back? Are you going to save your life points? <sighs> I think I have to. Even if you do lose half life points, I still take 22. I pass. All right, we need to do as, something. As long as we can get past all the Hain Hains and the Man Eater bugs, we're chilling. Ah, we got to do something here soon. All right, I guess we're just going to set. We're going to wall up a little bit. Fair. You do. Ooh, that's a great card. So first, Ruxin, I'm going to punch oh, this. No. Okay. Nimbu Mamonga. My okay. own Nimbu Mamonga. You took the same strategy. I would love to use my little beasts. All right, here we go. And you get to sell yeah. like both of them too, which is Give me some life points. Advantage. I didn't draw the other one. That's nice. <laughs> I'm going to set one card and pass. All right, you're setting cards. I do not like when you set cards. You got Penguin Soldier over there. I have a lot. Penguin Soldier, you got Man Eater. What else you got? Okay, you got Maha. I mean, you can always crash your uh, your squirrels into my lodge in and get like 400 life points back. If it's Penguin Soldier, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Let's just, let's figure out what that set is. It's the Soldier. Okay, that makes sense. Activate. Back in your hand to ghost. Yes. That's a that's annoying, yeah. Hey, but you were smart to attack before uh, setting a card. Yeah, because that could have been pretty bad if I didn't have an option to set anything after that. And you've got 2200 in your hand. I know, yeah, that's a great card. I will set... I'm gonna go ahead and punch this squirrel. It's not the squirrel. Oh, or is wow. it a squirrel? My giant rat. I can't say that I uh, didn't expect that one. Okay, let me bring out my. Oh, you have Jirai you, Gumo. What you, what That's you, such a pain in the butt. Yeah, what, what do you bring out with this? An attack mode is definitely a choice. Oh, yeah, I think you have to. Well, it has to be an attack, yeah, yeah, but yeah. yeah. I will set a card and pass. But he only has 2k defense, which is not enough. Okay. Interesting. You're setting another card. Oh my gosh. I hate <laughs> this. I hate this so much. This is a great out. It's a fantastic yeah. out. Oh. Pop it. Oh, it's a pain. I think we just, just start beating your ass next turn. You can try. I don't have to try. I just will. Monster are reborn. Oh, I think, man. I, I think it's time we end this duel. Let's get Maha oh, Bible on the field. Hey, you're taking mine? Come I'm on. taking yours. I want yours. To, I want you to stare down your own cards as a deep leaks of life points. That's painful. And now we just almost end it. First, we attack the Hain Hain. Ooh, okay. Did not I expect guess, that. I thought it was going to be It's only 400 life points, so I'm going to make you risk half your life points to attack. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm absolutely doing it. Oh, I know. You're going to lose, too. That's fine. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. That was expensive. That was an expensive 2200. And then we set another card. I Go wish ahead. you had not attack with Maha because I could have returned that to my hand. That would have been sick. <laughs> uh, you could have returned it. You just chose not to return it. Oh. Now, how, oh. how do you out this crazy field, Ruxin? Oh. <laughs> you better, you yes. better get Raigeki on the line. I don't have Raigeki, but I have Monster Reborn. What should bring it back with that? What am I bringing back with that? That is not the important part here, okay? Let's just bring back this. What if I say no to that? That's annoying. Yeah, it's very annoying. But I'm also very That's annoying. Like I said, uh, you better okay. get Raigeki on the line, bro. I was saving that magic generator for Raigeki. Well, I would. That would have been annoying if I didn't have this. Oh, a second one. <laughs> you drew two Raigekis and two Monster Reborns. Anyways. Oh my gosh! You gotta be kidding me. No. But but you, but now you it, got to be kidding me. If you were just a master. Duels just now, and you did that with the purposes of playing Raigeki. Well played. I did not do it with the purposes of playing Raigeki. I'll admit that. You got two Monster Reborns and two Raigekis. That's insane. But I did do it with the plan of playing a third. You have three? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for showing me your back row. <laughs> you had three in your hand? <laughs> and now. I summon the summon skull in attack mode. No way. Battle phase. Destroy Jirai Gumo. No way. 
There's one card I can draw right now. It'd be fantastic. <laughs> okay, don't draw it, please. I need that axe of despair because I want you to be in despair. Okay, good, good, good. Oh no, setting back road on the bat. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Let's draw something big. Rageki. Wow, triple monster reborn is just main character syndrome. Bro, I, I hope you have the out, buddy. I do have the out. <laughs> you don't think I don't have the out? Oh my gosh. I'm fully committing. There's a hole. Oh man, you do have the out. Have the out. Seven tools of the bandits. Negate your trap hole. That was the, probably the greatest Yu-Gi-Oh! Old School Moon on YouTube. <laughs> I top decked right Geki. Oh my god. And you know why you beating me with Skull? With someone Skull is even more iconic? What did you tell me three weeks ago? I you, don't know. What, I, what did I tell you? You said you'd rather have a summon Skull than oh, like Maggie yeah. or something. Oh yeah. I told you, Meiji instead of instead of Summon Skull. Yeah, dude, that's true. I would Summon Skull, classic. And look, look at it right here. By the way, yeah, I pulled three Monster Reborn and two Rakeki. <laughs> you know what my secret card was? I pulled Monster Reborn twice, and I was excited about that. Dude, I knew that's what you were talking about, and I was like, I can't wait till he sees I have three. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see your I need to see your deck. Show me your deck list real fast. Let me get a quick reaction. I'll show you mine too. Okay, you got judgment. I didn't get any judgment. That's what I was hoping for. Because hey, judgment in one of those instances could have been crazy. You got me. Oh come on, get that out of here. <laughs> get it out. Stop you, it. You see that royal though? You see that royal though? <laughs> I do. How much does that cost you? It actually wasn't that bad. I, I ended you up pulling it. I, I, I spent like a thousand UR gems trying to craft it, and then I gave up, and then I did one more uh, pack, like multi summon, multi opening, and I pulled yeah, it. Yeah, that's that's pretty sick. It looks good in in royal. Oh, you got you got swords. I got swords as well. Okay, let me share my screen. Swords, I think, was like my first one. But, but, you, but hold up, but you didn't you didn't notice it at the top. Oh, the dark I, magician. I, I had I had it. I had a great opening in your video, buddy. Oh, you popped up. Okay, can you see mine now? Card destruction. Black pendant's great. Mega morph. I hate you. I see a card. I see a card. I see a card. You still somehow managed to be annoying, even though you didn't play it. I see a card down there. <laughs> Yeah, dude, when you said there's no gravity bind in this, I was like, I can't wait to play Messenger of I Peace. I <laughs> forgot Messenger of Peace was Magic Ruler, I think, right? Yeah, it was Magic Ruler. It was a rare in here. I pulled this and I was like, I really don't, I wouldn't normally play this, but I was like, I have to play this. No, you know what's funny? In my in my opening, I'm like, there's no gravity bind in here. So me only, I, the only back row removal I pulled was MST. So I'm like, well, worst case scenario, MST is not even going to be used here. And I wouldn't yeah. even know, bro, I would have wasted that MST like frame one. And I wouldn't even known that that your piece was there. <laughs> you would have been so mad. I, I pulled true nades, but I was like, there's not that much yeah, back row. I don't same. know if it's really worth I, playing I pulled, all this. I pulled like four of them and I was like, nah, there's, there's no point. Because all that does is just yeah. like, And the thing about MST hand. is you can like set it and activate quick quick effect. But like with true nade, it just, it doesn't really work as well with yeah. this format. So I was like, I'll just stick with MSTs. That should I, be good. I'm oh. sad I only pulled one MST in the entire draft. Dang, that's kind of rough. Yeah. Our decks are pretty similar. I guess I got one Axe of Despair. I used two Pendants instead. You played Upstart. I decided not to play Upstart. My Well, my whole goal was if I used the, the Squirrels and Giant Germ to mill out the deck and then draw into um, Dark Magician or Blue Eyes. And then the other yeah. one was going to be to use Mahavila with Axe of Despair. Luckily, I had Raigeki like every time you did that or else I was screwed. Because <laughs> like when you had that 5k Blue Eyes... Like if I didn't draw that, I was I had nothing. I was like I had already used one Raigeki and I had uh, Hain Hained. Uh, my I and I just saved Hain Hained. I would have been fine, but I j just used it. I was like, oh crap, I'm it, screwed. Is someone school an ultra rare in this set? It's a super. Oh okay okay. But you know what? You might have won, but I won the war because I have this in both <laughs> royal finish in the game and also royal finish IRL. And who PSA really, 10. Who yeah, really yeah, wins yeah. here? Ruxin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, for now. You win for now. Just wait. I'm going to pull it one day. <laughs> if the people want to see a run back, though, they got to like this video. I'm going to do this again in the near future. Yeah, like the video. Let us know any other set we could do it with that would be fun like this. Because this set is like sort of drafty where it's like just basic. You know, it's not too complicated or anything. Uh, there's probably some other cool sets we could do it with. So let us know in the comments what you want to see. This was a blast because you get to do like the physical opening and get the cards. And then you get to do the, the duels as well. So yeah, in IRL, I have two. Ragekis to do Monster Reborn, so kind of lit. Three Monster Reborns is nuts. <laughs>
<laughs> three in one <laughs> turn too. Well, I, I had them for forever, and you had, just had a bigger monster, and I couldn't revive anything bigger. So I'm like, why would I use this? I'm just yeah, gonna wait. Yeah, yeah, that's smart, smart. You know, the, the say you kept trying to bring him back. I'm like, surely he doesn't have summon school. Sure, surely, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I did. All right, rhyme style. This was super fun. Everybody, go check out his channels. He has multiple because he's been around for like 45 years or something. So just go me check old. him out. And uh, you got any last words? Uh, no, I don't. I don't. <laughs> All right. <laughs> see you guys next time. Peace.